brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. Hey, look, man, y'all already know what's going on. We in the building. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We got three topics today, but I was only able to fit two of them in the title. So we're going to go in order. The first topic we got is Crump and Bezu, man. Crump, Bezu. You know, Bezu just made some shit on his IG and he basically trolling the death of Crump and shit like that. We're gonna talk about that first. Then we're gonna talk about um, Butter, T Roy, and Vaughn. Butter just did an interview and they asked him some shit and he like, man, no, nah, T Roy was more savage than Vaughn. We're gonna talk about that shit. And then we're gonna talk about um, FBG Pressure. It's a. Lil P, y'all know him as Lil P, you know what I'm saying, a viral clip, uh, him name dropping King Vine, you know, everybody know the clip I'm talking about, but you know, he go by FBG Pressure now, but, um, you know, voting on just another person, Duck said it, god damn it, everybody over there on 63rd basically done said this shit, Vine was with them. Like, Vaughn used to be with 63rd and shit like that, so we're going to talk about that shit. But uh, we're going to talk about the Crump shit first, the Bezu and Crump shit first. So I don't know what triggered Bezu, but folk them woke up and folk, his ass chose bullshit. Like, his ass hopped on his Instagram and was like, man, y'all seen Crump lately? Oh, all right. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? And then... Like, that, that's all he put. Like, goddamn, I don't know what, like, I don't know what triggered him to just, you know, say that shit, but something triggered him. This like what I was saying in my video yesterday. Like, you know, Bezu entertained the bullshit. Bezu respond to the trolls. Bezu entertained fan accounts, all that shit. So I don't know if somebody trolled him. I don't know if a fan account, goddamn it, said some shit about Crump that triggered him to say what he said, but, you know, this is just like what I was saying yesterday, man. Bezu, he entertained the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, so everybody know the relationship between Crump and uh, Bezu. So, at one, once upon a time, everybody used to be together. Lil Dirk, Bezu, Crump, King Von, D Thang, goddamn it, Rondo number nine, like everybody was, was together. Six hundred, uh, Lamb Ryan, Drove City, THF, they all was running. Like I ain't gonna lie, if they asked who to stay together when nobody been able to like Chief Keith, you see what I'm saying? Like everybody was together. If they would have stayed together, man, nobody would have been able to mess with how they was coming, bro. Like, that, they too big of an army. Like, they was like a whole, God damn it, like, like unstoppable force type shit if everybody would have stayed together. So, long, I'm saying all that to say that Crump, no Bezu for real. And Bezu, no Crump for real. So it's like, you know, I don't know if you know, people speaking on the shit, like the, uh, I don't know if people big enough crump name be making Zoo feel some type of way. Cause y'all remember when Zoo was on live with Melly, um, Zoo told Melly like, man, the fans be over saucing you and that should be blowing me. So I don't know if like, you know, the, uh, the people, how they feel about crump, the love that crump got out here. I don't know if that be making uh, Zoo feel some type of way, but his ass just chose bullshit. Phone them woke up like, yeah, y'all saying Crump? Y'all saying, uh, y'all saying Crump lately? Oh, I right. Everybody know phone them. He basically just, you know, making fun of the fact that Crump did. Crump not hit no more and shit like that. And let me, let me just talk my shit real fast. I'm going to just get right into it. So, all uh, right, right now, the crump shit, like the, you know, as of recent, 
the crump shit has been being put on Kane Get Right. Kane Get Right has been taking the blame for the crump shit as a recent. But if y'all remember in the beginning, before this crump shit got put on Kane Get Right, if y'all remember in the beginning when this shit first happened, this shit was being put on Zoo and a female from THF named Lil T. So it's like, Zoo, I feel like his ass is staying down because it's like, bro, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Let's just play devil advocate for a second. Let's just say, you know, Lil T and Fulham did do this shit. Like, bro, like, don't, like, just be cool, bro. Like, you know, it's looking like, so hypothetically, if Zoo did do this shit, you got away with it, bro. Why is you, you see, now you playing. You playing with the, uh, you playing like, goddamn it, you know, like, at the end of the day, murder don't got no, like, ain't no statute of limitation on murder, bro. So it's like, hypothetically speaking, let's just say Fulham did do this shit. I, right, you got away with the shit. Or it's like, you know what I'm saying? You know, all the way up until this point, you got away with the shit. Hypothetically, if you did do it, it's like, why would you play like that? You know, at the end of the day, we know that's what goes on in the drill culture or whatever. Like, I. Right, Somebody that y'all don't like die, you instantly get online trolling. But look what happened to kiddo. Like a lot of people, they like, man, ain't that what y'all doing in Chicago? Like, ah, yeah, that's what we doing in Chicago. But it's like at the end of the day, everybody don't do that shit. Cause everybody, like, like the goofies do that shit. Like, I can't even say everybody. The, the people that are goofy, crash dummies. The, like, the people who don't know how this shit go for real, they the ones who do that shit. Anybody who really out here doing shit and goddamn it, you know, want to keep doing shit or, or want to get away with some shit, they not doing that shit. So it's like, you know, I don't know if we, 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 we playing devil advocate right now. We speaking in hypothetic terms. I don't know if Zoo looking at the can't get right shit and being like, I, oh yeah, he can't get right taking the blame for that shit. I control now. It's like, look, bro, like at the end of the day, like we don't even play them type of games for real. You know this, Zoo, like, like you know ain't no steps to a limitation on murder. So hypothetically, you did do the shit. Like yo ass would be goofy as hell for playing with the shit. Like, like, no, nah, we, you know what I'm saying? We home free. You know what I'm saying? And then I ain't going to lie. So, boom, we, we going to keep playing devil advocate for a second because it's a few things I want to point out. So, everybody know, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you know, channels that chalk that shit up to when the shit first happened, it's a lot of channels that was like, yeah, Lil T, Zoo. There's a lot of them. They was on that. They was under that act or whatever. One of them, one of the big ones was Chicago Scene 88. And, you know, Four them done, goddamn it, low key made a name for himself in this shit. Like a lot of people look at Chicago scene '88 as like his ass be on point. Like he know what the fuck you talking about. His ass be over accurate and shit like that. So it's like you know, for him to have said that shit when this shit first jumped off, it's like you know that kind of put a target on uh, Lil T and folding them back as far as the crump shit. So it's like you know. But that was when the shit first jumped off. Like I said, as of recent, this shit has been getting put on. Can't get right and shit like that. But now, nah, just keep in mind that Chicago scene, 88 shit. Like what what uh, what he said about Lil T and Zoo. Keep in mind that shit. And, um, and also, the other shit I want to point out is Lil Durk, uh No Auto song. So... Lil Dark No Auto song, a lot of people feel like that shit was aimed at Crump. He say, um, he'll still be alive right now if you niggas ain't gas him up. Got stories with the time gonna slide for nothing. Everybody with this gang ain't shit, so they ain't dying for nothing. But now nah, one of the uh, one of the most specific lines, he say, can't have no party on your block as long as Steve out here. Can't try to, he said a lot of shit up in that no uh that no auto song. And this shit came right after phone them checked out, right after crumb checked out, Lil Dirk dropped the no auto song. And you know, the people that's tapped into that shit, they was looking at that shit like, I right, this shit meant for crump. Crump just died, Lil Dirk just dropped the no auto song. He on there talking this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know. 
So just keep in mind all these factors. Right after Crump died, Lil Dirk dropped no auto, and goddamn it, basically like, you know, long story short, this man over here, you know, he raising his hand like, yeah, you already know what for them to do when FBG Cash died on some goof ass shit. Um, think I'm playing come and see like Dirk known for with making songs after somebody that he don't like check out. And it's like, it's like he damn near be taking credit. Like that one John, ain't no sneaky war. Think I'm playing, come and seek. You gonna end up by that tree. That was like him raise his hand. Like, yeah, we did that shit. God damn it. Crump die, for them drop no auto. For them in the beginning of the song. I get shit done. Fuck what you talking about? Raising his hand, we did that shit. He'll still be alive right now if you niggas ain't gas him up. On my son, it's a lot of shit. He say, uh, low key, he say, he say, law want to get zoo out the way. They say he a chief out here. And then, they be scared. And that Hellcat on the E-Way off the meds. Say his name inside the song, my folks sound better not say it. Better not say it. Get your ass back in the house, we got FM 99s. My credit so A1 with killers, I be paying my fine. Like a lot of people looked at that no auto song, like, yeah. Y'all, y'all know who killed, y'all know who got phone them up out of here. Like Lil Dirk known for that shit, bro. He known for when somebody on this end die, phone them basically he make a song and that should be basically like him raising his hand. Like, yeah, y'all know who did it, y'all, we did it. Like we like phone them taking credit for the murders and shit. Like in song format though, like through a song though, he'll take a credit for a murder through a song. Now he don't be as open as Vaughn do. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing I can say about Lil Durk, his ass cryptic that shit. Like he, Lil Durk encrypt that shit to the point where it's like, I. Right. now with that cash shit, he ain't doing too much good of a job of encrypting that shit. But it's like, if I had to compare Vaughn and Dirk who be trying to take the credit for murders and songs like the most openly? Vaughn. Like, Vaughn has come out and just say the shit. Like, we killed such and such. Like, goddamn it, y'all know that he'll say their name and everything. Like, yeah. Like, Dirk ass don't really be saying names too much of the person that died. But it's like, you know, if you tapped in enough, you would know what he talking about. You know what I'm saying? So look, this is just me. All right, back to the zoo shit. So keep in mind the Chicago scene, 88 shit, how he blamed the shit on Fodenum. And keep an eye on how the Lil Dirk No Auto song shit, how right out the crumb died, Lil Dirk was basically taking credit for the shit. Like, yeah, bro, y'all, I get shit done. I got that shit done. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, so... Back to the Bezu shit. Keep them two things in mind, though. Back to the Bezu shit. I feel like I, hypothetically, if you did have something to do with that shit, your ass just did some goof at, like, the shit that you doing, like, your ass, you fronting your shit. You fronting your shit hard as hell right now. Like, you, you, like, that's little nigga shit you just did. That's some little, like, that's little kid shit you just did. Like, at the end of the day, bro, like, yeah, Bond was out here standing on business, but his ass was not moving like no real killer because he talked too much. And, you know, it's safe to say you doing the same shit right now. Like, I, y'all allegedly out in the field standing on business, or y'all was allegedly standing on business like zoo your ass damn near out the streets, God damn it, you know what I'm saying? You damn near little dark muscle, you damn near, you know, it's safe to say you passed that point in your life, right? I, right. so... At one point in time, allegedly, y'all was out there standing on business. Like, real killers move in silence. That's why I say the shit I say about Vaughn. Like, I right, he was standing on business, but he wasn't moving like no real killer for real because he talked too much. It's safe to say the same shit about you. Like, if you a real killer, why the hell is you talking about a person that, you know what I'm saying, God damn it. You know, a little while ago, they were trying to put this shit on your name. Like, yeah, Zoo did this shit. And you know they were trying, and you weren't speaking on it back then because you was in the hot seat. Like, motherfuckers was looking at you like, yeah, Zoo did that shit. But now that the shit getting blamed on can't get right, now you just like, oh, I'm out the hot seat. Yeah, we smoking crump. Anybody heard from crump lately? Oh, I right. It's like, bro, you don't remember a few years back, they tried to say you did the shit. 
But now that the shit being blamed on can't get right, you want some shit like, all right, you know, it's safe to talk about it. And then, like, all right, say can't get right did or whatever, you know, but but if you did do this shit, if you, hypothetically, if you did do this shit and you talking about this shit, bro, you not moving like no real killer, bro. It's like you not supposed to talk about that shit, period. And, you know, that's why I be bringing up Vine, man, because Vine used to be violated. Like, Vine damn near... Uh, be out here doing what he doing, but his ass running around here, running his mouth. He loud as hell. He making too much noise. He talking too much. Like Vine, I'm I'm pretty sure safe to say. I'm pretty sure everybody can agree that Vine talked it too much. You talked it too much, my boy. Like yeah, you did what you did, but you talked too much. Like one thing I can say about you know Wooski. You know him. You know he don't do no talking, and that's his. That's his uh, trademark slogan. I don't want to talk. God damn it! Uh, like you let the like. If anything, fool. Like the streets gonna know what they gonna know, but at the end of the day, the streets gonna talk for you. Now, if you pop out and you get to talking, like yeah, I did this. I did. I remember Vine made a tweet on Twitter. He like. I can name five GDs I killed and 10 that I shot. I was like, damn, like, yo ass bogus as hell. You just hopped on Twitter and just just, just putting it out there like that? Like, man, you know? So it's like, you know, I'm, that's like one of the most famous tweets by Vine, you know? Anybody who tapped into the drill shit, y'all know the tweet I'm talking about. So it's like, I ain't in front of my shit. I ain't just saying this shit just to be saying it. Like, when I say Vine talked it too much, that shit stamped. Anybody who been uh, tuned in to this shit for a minute, y'all know that shit facts. Vaughn talked too much. He did what he did, but he talked too damn much, bro. You know? And it's like... Like, Vaughn was, goddamn it. I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave that shit alone, but, like, y'all get the point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, basically, that's what I'm saying about Zoo right now. Hypothetically, if you did do this shit, Zoo, you talking too much. You talking too much, like change the subject. It's not, it's not, it's not to say you can't talk about nothing. It's just to, to say that I all the shit that you allegedly had your hand in, you can't talk about that shit. Yo, ass, you see what I'm saying? Like you trying, you hang your hat on how you a real stepper and all this. Like, like the shit that you just did is saying different. Like, no, nah, you not a real stepper because it's like it, it was being said that. You you did the shit to crumb, and for you to be talking about that shit like yeah, you know that shit like you can't the shit that you hanging your hat on that shit cap like you trying to say like no nah, I'm a real stepper but that shit you just did like go against what you saying bro like yo ass not no you talking too much bro you doing what Vaughn did and shit like that but it's like you know at the end of the day you know. I made sure I had to say hypothetically and allegedly all through that shit because I just wanted to get my point across. It's like, I don't know if Zoo was responding to a fan account. I don't know what made him get up on bullshit and be like on his, on his. you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he was uh, responding to a troll. I don't know what happened, you know, that made Zoo just get on bullshit and be like, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on bullshit with Crump today. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, at the end of the day, y'all hop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that shit. We're going to move on to the, uh, we're going to move on to the T-Roy, Vaughn, and FBG Buttership. Y'all made it to this point. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Everybody who ain't smash the like button, make sure y'all smash that shit. But look, uh, so Butter doing the interview. The interview person said something to him, and Butter just responded like, no, nah, T-Roy was more savage than Vaughn. Like, T-Roy was more savage than Vaughn. I ain't going to lie. So, Vaughn gonna go down as one of the most talkative, like, as far as the people who was out there really doing shit, Vaughn gonna go down as the one with the biggest mouth, or one of the ones with the biggest mouth. So look, you know, Butter say T-Roy was most savage than Vaughn, so we gonna, we gonna talk about that shit, like, for a second. So, you know, everybody know T-Roy had the little man syndrome. You know, so that automatically going to add to him just, you know what I'm saying, being over what's the name and shit like that. And then, you know, everybody, anybody, 
that's been tapped into the shit. Y'all know that T-Roy jumped off the porch before Vaughn, was doing shit before Vaughn, all type of shit. Like, T-Roy was Vaughn, big brother. Vaughn looked it, looked it up to T-Roy. Not in height or stature, but just in status in the streets. Like, Vaughn, like, T-Roy was the big dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, Vaughn came out there and shit like that. So, at the end of the day, like, when you look at it from that standpoint of view, like yeah, butter. He 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 uh. He's speaking facts. You know, T. Roy was more savage than Vine in that aspect. But there's two ways you could look at this shit. It's like, I yeah, T. Roy was automatically gonna be more a little bit aggressive with a person just off the fact that he had the little man syndrome for one and then for two T Roy jumped off the porch before Vaughn was doing shit, did shit before Vaughn, all type of shit. God damn it, you know what I'm saying? And so that's for two. You know what I'm saying? Like Vaughn was round here like, man, I need to catch up to T Roy, you see what I'm saying? So it's like you know, if you look at it from that standpoint of view, like, yeah, T-Roy was more savage than Vaughn. But if you look at it from another standpoint of view, like I, you know, allegedly, we're going to put big ass allegedly's with capital A's when we're talking about this shit. Allegedly, you know, Vaughn ended up, you know, Vaughn and T-Roy was competing with each other when it came to counts and shit like that. Or should I say, Vaughn was competing with T-Roy. Like, T-Roy wasn't competing with Vaughn, because it's like, when it came to counts, T-Roy had Vaughn for a while. But as the years went by, anybody who, you know what I'm saying, been tapped into this shit, y'all should know. As the years went by, you know, Vaughn eventually caught up to T-Roy and surpassed T-Roy. This ain't nothing to glorify this. We just speaking on this shit because it's what's being spoken about right now. So, God damn it, um, Long story short, Vaughn would end up surpassing T-Roy in that aspect. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, so if you look at it from that standpoint of view, some people would say that Vaughn was more savage than T-Roy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, front, if you look, there's two ways you can look at it. If you look at it over here, I T-Roy, he started this shit. He jumped off the porch first. His ass was the big dog. Vaughn looked it up to him. Like, before Vaughn ever did anything, T-Roy was already doing shit. So if you look at it from that standpoint, T-Roy was more savage than Vaughn. But if you look at it from this standpoint, and be like, well, as the years went by, Vaughn would ultimately surpass T-Roy, you know what I'm saying? Tie him and then, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Outpass him and shit like, you know, Vaughn died with a big account than T-Roy, but you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you look at it from that standpoint, some people, so you will have, the shit will be split down. You will have people over here looking at it from this way. They'll be like, no, nah, T-Roy was more savage. Then you will have people over here looking at it from this way. They'll be like, no, nah, Vaughn was more savage. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, uh, you know, that's, that's up to the person. Like, whoever, you know, looking at the shit like that's up to like that's a real opinionated ass topic you know like that ain't no oh no it's set in stone that ain't no uh factual topic that's an opinionated topic so you know it's all depending on the person that's you know looking at the shit like t-roy von like who y'all feel like but you know but ass you know at the end of the day you know but around here he making his money he making his bread in these interviews and shit like that. And it's like, I done seen some interviews where Butter was like, yeah, Vaughn was my favorite op. Vaughn was my favorite op and shit like that. And I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, I don't know how. I done seen an interview, like one of the girls that was interviewing him, when like this specific interview where he said that shit. One of the girls that was interviewing him, they damn near looked at him crazy when he said that shit. Like, how the hell... Is, you know what I'm saying? I could just imagine what was going through her head just off how she was looking. The look on her face was saying basically like, how the hell you, you saying this about somebody who, you know, allegedly killed people that you just claim that you love so much. Like you love them so much, but you're like, yeah, Vaughn was my favorite op. 
you know, at the end of the day, bro, it's like, you know, that shit, a lot of people is fucked up in the head, you know, just, just to keep it simple and plain, a lot of people is fucked up in the head just to even, you know, just off some of the shit that they be saying, it's like, like at the end of the day, you know, like it ain't nothing wrong with giving somebody they credit for the on some street shit. Like if you if you hang your hat on the street shit, like you you a self proclaimed real member and all this shit, you respect gangster shit and shit like that. Then I right, then ain't nothing wrong with giving somebody they credit. But like how Take a Pong be doing, Take a Pong he be giving people on the other end they credit. But you ain't never heard Take a Pong come out and say like, yeah. Um. Uh, God damn it, Lil B was my favorite op. God damn it, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, 051 Rose, my favorite op and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got certain ties. Like, how Take a Pong had ties with Melly. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that relationship between Take a Pong and Melly, I'm, you know, to this day, that shit be making 600 members and Young Money members feel some type of way. Because Young Money don't like Tay. And 600 don't like uh, Melly. But due to the fact that, I guess, Melly had a, uh, was in a relationship with Tay's sister, by default, goddammit, Melly was around Tay on some, you know what I'm saying? Like, on some goddammit, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, yo sister, my, yo sister, my uh, girlfriend type shit. And you her little brother. So it's like, we damn near, we damn near know each other on another level type shit. And it's like, it's crazy because my block killing your block, your block killing my block, our block killing each other. But it's like, I'm dating your sister. So it's like, you know, we damn near cordial and probably even more than cordial. No, we damn near halfway cool with each other. You see what I'm saying? Just off the strength of your sister and shit. So it's like, but even with Melly, like, you ain't never heard Tay come out and be like, yeah, Melly was my favorite. Op. Like, you just don't say shit like that. Like, it, like I said, ain't nothing wrong with giving somebody that credit. But just over, just over, just over glorifying them. You know what I'm saying? I seen some shit Bezu said. I think he said the Billa. When Billa made that story, uh, made that song called The Melly Story. Like, Billa... <laughs> Uh, Zoo got on bullshit. He's like, man, yo ass, glory, yo ass, make a song glorifying the ops, all type of shit. So it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm just using that as an example on some shit like what Butter be doing, like how you be saying Vaughn with his favorite op and shit like that. Like, it ain't nothing wrong with giving credit, but it's like when you get to over glorifying the people who killed your loved ones, the ones that you say that you love and shit like that, that's when people get to looking at you weird. And that's how that girl was looking at Butter in that interview. When they was talking, she got looking at his ass like, your favorite op, like, didn't he kill your sister? Or didn't he, the girl that you got to chain, that big ass K.I. on your neck, didn't he kill K.I.? Like, what is you talking about? Your favorite op, like, that shit weird. But, uh, yeah, man, as far as the, uh, as far as the, you know, the statement Butter said, like, you know, he felt like T-Roy was more savage than King Von. Like I said, just the, just an opinionated topic. There's not a not a factual topic and shit like that. You know. Now, if you was to come and say like, "I right, who count bigger, T. Roy or Von?" That would be a factual topic because it's like it come down to numbers. Do you got four? Do you got seven? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, do you got five? Do you got like who number is bigger? You know what I'm saying? But uh, no, nah, it ain't really. That ain't the topic at hand. So it's like, that's, you know, that would be a factual topic, but it's like, that's not what we're talking about. The shit that we talking about is like, you know, the question that was uh, brought up is who's more savage, Vaughn or T-Roy? And Butter said T-Roy, you know, that's his opinion. Some people might think different. Some people might feel like Vaughn more savage. Some people might agree with Butter. Some people might feel like T-Roy is most of us, but you know, it all gonna come down to whatever the person's opinion is and shit like that. But, uh, no, that's that on that shit, y'all. Before I get off that shit, I'm gonna say this one thing. Now, if it came down to the, if the question was brought up, who count bigger, T-Roy or Vaughn? Everybody would have to say Vaughn because Vaughn will eventually 
surpass T. Roy in that aspect. See, that's not opinionated. That's factual. You see what I'm saying? But that also bleeds over into the other question of who was more savage. A lot of people, they, you know, even though T. Roy was the first one to hop off the porch, even though he was the big dog and all that shit, still a lot of people would probably say Vaughn just off the count. Just off the count. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, Vaughn will ultimately surpass T. Roy in that shit. But now, you know, I just wanted to say that shit before we move on. But we finna move on. Y'all hop in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that shit. But we finna move on to the, uh, the, uh, Lil P. I'm gonna call him Lil P. Vaughn was, uh, He's known as FBG Pressure now, though. But, you know, you know, his ass just did an interview with Cam Capone and shit. He spoke on Vaughn. But before we uh, speak on that shit, everybody who ain't smashed the like button, make sure y'all smash the like button. We made it to this point. God damn it. You know, drop the location shot the way everybody from. Everybody run them likes up and shit like that. But, uh... Let me get this motherfucking T real fast. So look, Lil P just did an interview with Cam Capone and you know, Vine ended up getting brought up in the interview. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a previous clip that Cam Capone dropped where Fodenham was saying like, yeah, we used to be going to the O Block parties and shit like that. Like we used to be cool with them before everything got out of hand. We used to be going to their parties and shit like that. So that damn near, like, low-key went viral a little bit. Like, people probably struggling to wrap their head around. Like, damn, y'all killing each other now, but y'all used to go to each other parties. But so that shit did some numbers. But Cam ended up dropping another clip where, you know, Lil P damn near stamped with everybody else. Been, what Duck said, everybody from the 63rd end and said this shit. Vaughn was with us first. His ass used to be with us. So we just gonna we just gonna uh we just gonna speak on that shit again. And I got like a new angle to look at it from. I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce a new angle for people to look at it from that people probably because I seen the comment and it made me think. So people probably never looked at it from this angle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce a new angle. But look, you know, yeah, but for the people who don't know, just give y'all a quick lesson. Like, look, Vaughn not originally from O Block. He is from a block called Killer Ward. Killer Ward was cool with STL. Killer Ward and, and STL was linked. They all, everybody went to Hyde Park. It was a high school. Doug, Herb, apparently Lil P, Young, goddammit, uh, a lot of people, you know, notable people, they went to, they went to, uh, Hyde Park and shit like that. So it's like, and Vaughn was one of them. Like, Vaughn was with Killer Ward and shit like that. That's where he originally from. And Killer Ward was linked with STL. So it's like, they used, like, Killer Ward used to be on STL, kicking it with FBG, kicking it with Tukerville. God damn it, you know what I'm saying? Like, they homies, all type of shit. Like, everybody know each other. It was all love and shit like that. So it's like, but Vaughn would eventually move in the Parkway Gardens and shit. And you know, for a while, a lot of people ain't know. They ain't know his ass was in Parkway Gardens. So it's like, you know, once it came out that his ass was in Parkway, you know, around this time, SCL, they happened, they got they got smoke with Parkway. Parkway, there's some shit going on between STL and Parkway. Like, they beefing, there's tension and shit like that. So... For a long time, they ain't know that Vaughn was over there in Parkway, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? On his old block shit or whatever. So Vaughn was really, like, playing both sides. Like, his ass was saying he kill a war, but he over there on his old block shit. Like, he in Parkway on his old block shit. And STL with, uh, STL in tour with old block. And I ain't even gonna lie. Him playing both sides with the Killer Ward and the old block shit probably played a part in Killer Ward not defending Vaughn how they should have defended him. We're going to talk about that shit in a second. So look, STL would find out about Vaughn being in Parkway. 
why they was into it with them. Like he 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 damn near Parkway on his old block shit. STL would find out about that shit, and they would you know confront him about that shit on the bus. One day after school, they would confront him about that shit. You know what I'm saying on the bus and shit like that. And it's like it said that STL and Jaro, damn near they jumped them. They jumped on. They beat them. You know what I'm saying? People from Jaro beat them. Modell beat them. Butter took part in beating them like like Bond was getting beat by multiple people. And you know, Killer War, damn near was there. Like Killer War was there. And instead of, you know what I'm saying? Instead of uh them getting on bullshit with STL and Jaro and start whooping STL and Jaro. You know, one of y'all Killer War members is getting beat up. Like, one of your Killer War members is getting beat up by Jaro and STL right now. Why the hell is y'all not whooping STL and Jaro? Why is y'all just trying to break it up? Like, they ass was just trying to pull Vine away from the beating instead of beating STL and Jaro for whooping one of their members. You know, some people... A call Killer War hoes for that shit. Like, what the hell? Like, they beat Vaughn, a Killer War member. Like, what the hell is, why y'all not uh, trying to whoop Jaro and SCL for beating up a Killer War member? Y'all Killer War, right? I, you know, now if you just looking at it on the surface, you would call Killer War some hoes. Like, what the hell y'all scared of Jaro and STL for the whole time? Like, it's a chance that Killer War felt some type of way too about the information that just came out. The information that just came out is that Vaughn is on his old block shit. Like Vaughn is old block, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, he playing both sides. While he at school and while he with y'all and with us, he acting like he Killer War the whole time. His ass is from old block. He and he be in Parkway on straight old block activity. You see what I'm saying? His ass in there, you know, old boy, old gang type shit, like folding them on some straight Parkway Gardens type shit, like folding them as like a uh, official old block member. He lying to y'all. His ass not killer war. His ass been flipped to old block. His ass just don't want that smoke because his ass know when he come to school, he got to, you know what I'm saying? He got to, like when he, when he come to school, as long as he got play his killer war card, he good. But so it's like he lying to y'all. He fronting his shit like, yeah, no, I'm Killer Boy, but he really old block. His ass playing the system. When he in Parkway, he old block. But when he at school, he Killer Boy. The whole time, he lying to y'all. Like, his ass, once he moved off y'all block, he was not Killer Boy no more. So it's like, STL and Jabra will end up finding out about that shit. And, you know, Killer Boy will end up finding out about that shit. Because whole time, if that shit really, look, so if that shit, I'm, I'm going to put it like this. If the shit about Vaughn playing both sides never came out, Killer Wood would have tried to beat the fuck out of, Killer Wood would have got on bullshit with Jabra and STL. They would have did more than try to break it up. But nine times out of ten, that old block shit made them feel some type of way too. Like, you not even one of us. You know what I'm saying? We not finna go to bat for you like a real killer war member. Like we'll go to bat for a real killer war member because it's like your ass ain't even one of us no more. Your ass, like that's why they whooping your ass. They whooping your ass because you was the old, you with old block now. Like you not with us no more. So it's like, you know, the very, you know, the most we gonna do is try to break this shit up. We not finna get into it with STL and Jaro for you and you not even Killer War no more. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't the fact that Killer War was some hoes and they scared of uh, Jaro and STL. It's like Vine ass had, you know, his ass ain't one of us no more, but he used to be one of us. So we gonna try to break it up. But if he was actively still one of us and they tried to put hands on him, if they tried to put hands on you, we finna put hands on them. Ain't no breaking shit up. We just finna start whooping their ass until they, and we gonna force them to let you go. We finna start uh, stomping their ass together. We finna start putting hands and feet on them. And it wasn't none of that. It wasn't none of that going on. Like, they were just trying to grab Vaughn and get them away from the beating. Instead of beating them, they just trying to get them away from the beating. So it's like, 
But look, before I, I, I want to say this too, before the time right now and shit like that. So look, so yeah, that's why Killer Ward didn't go crazy for Bond that day because Bond he wasn't with Killer Ward no more. He used to be, so they're gonna try to help him a little bit, but they ain't gonna go hard for him like he a, a still a Killer Ward member. But look, this one I'm gonna say, you know. That shit that they did that day, you know, like nobody, if they would have knew that King Von would have turned out who he was, they probably would have tried to, you know, they probably would have turned a blind eye to that shit and tried to keep a cordial relationship with uh, Von. Because Von ended up, would go on to be the king of O-Block on my son. Von would go on to be the top O-Block member. His ass would go on to surpass T-Roy. His ass would go on to be the goddamn it you know, the boogeyman, you know what I'm saying? And if they knew that, they probably would have turned the other eye and kept they relate. Cause like I said, Vine was cool with all them, Duck, Butter, Killer Ward, God damn it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on, on 63rd, like Vine had a cordial relationship with them off off the a relationship they had with Killer Ward. And I ain't gonna, I'm gonna keep saying this shit, bro. They made, I feel like they made a big mistake that day. Cause it's like, Vaughn could have, like shit, if he would have went on to be the king of O-Block and he would have still had the cordial relationship with y'all, like shit, Vaughn got power on my son. Like his ass could, like his ass start shit and stop shit. Like both of them uh, start the war and he could stop the war type shit. Like if somebody under him, like, you know, somebody that don't got as much status as him want to have beef with STL, but he still got a cordial relationship with STL. They never beat him up on the bus that day. They never messed up the relationship with Vaughn that day. And Vaughn would still went on to be who he was and shit like that. Like, it could have been a cordial relationship. They probably wouldn't have been the best of friends, but it could have been a cordial relationship between Old Block and STL off the strength that Vaughn still had a relationship with phone them from uh, Detroit. Like, if his ass still had a cordial relationship with STL and he still went on to be the person that he was, like, Vaughn could have, like, like made some, uh, like, put some shit in play. Like, man, that shit did. You know, I, I went to school with they ass, bro. They cool like shit. Me and Duck, we used to be uh, messing with the same female and shit like that. We used to be laughing about that shit. Like, we ain't no bullshit with Duck. Like, Duck cool. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could have put his and his words hold, his name hold weight. Like, his words mean something. So it's like, Vaughn could have played a big ass part in, you know, Beefs being ended, you see what I'm saying? After if he still would have had a relationship with them, you know what I'm saying? But you know, so I feel like that shit that that happened that day, it changed a lot of shit. Like it could have, like it could have went like the relationship ain't have to end. They did, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is. Like they did what they did, but I'm just playing devil advocate. If they didn't do that shit and kept the relationship with Vaughn. God damn it, and Vaughn still went on to be who he was, it's like shit. Like, Vaughn got power, like shit. He had the power, like, his ass would've had the power to stop. Whatever was going on, like shit, I fuck with Duck. Like shit, Butter, I went to school with Butter. Like shit, I fuck with Dutch. You know, all that shit, bro. Like, you know, for them could've did it, whatever was going on, cause it's like shit. Like, like, as I was like, 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 have we seen how the shit played out? Four them went on to be the king of O-Block, bro. So it was like, the king got power. But look, long story short, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Y'all hop in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Drop location so we can shout out the way everybody from. Make sure y'all go get y'all OCM merch. Make sure y'all watch all the way to the end of the video so y'all can see all the ways to tap into the channel. Basically, just mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom. But, uh... Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at the official CSP1. Y'all already know what's going on. I love y'all. I'm about to get up out of here. Make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch, man. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. We in the building, man. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up. I brought some money out. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone. They be like, fuck this Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them over stuff. My blood and shit. If I kidnap granny, you gon' be mad as motherfucker. Got the kickback addy. I come through strap this motherfucker.
brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood.